Howdy y'all, DJTJ here, back with another AOS on Tabletop Sim um, tutorial. And today we're just going to talk about right-clicking on objects. Last video I sort of covered the interface, went over a brief view of what all the sort of buttons around did. I did not go in depth on that. But right now I want to sort of go over what happens when you right-click an object. So, if we come over here and we right-click the black coach, a bunch of options come up. Delete, copy, clone. Um, I've never used script, but that would actually give you functionality. Scale, rotate, flip. And you can tint them, saved objects, and then the toggles. Okay, so let's start with the top and we'll talk about the toggles. Now, toggles are pretty self explanatory, and, table, and the, um, the creators of Tabletop Sim had done a good job with giving you sort of hover over explanations of everything. So I'm not going to go super into detail on this, but I will give you one hint about the lock because sometimes you, pretty much every game, you're going to want to lock or unlock something. And I generally take snap off. Now, if you have a big unit and you have snap on them, sometimes they will stick together in not a nice way. But... So if you take the snap off, they just will tend not to snap together. Um, it can be handy. And you will see it at some point where a big wad of your guys, as you carry them, sort of go into a big ball and just snap together. And of course, there we go. They snapped together into a big wall. If you take the snap off it should help that out okay I'll delete those the other thing we talked about is locking and unlocking all right so if you notice here that the textures weren't loaded on these pieces of terrain I want to get them out of here but I can't select them and I can't move them okay what you'll have to do is you have to just hover over right click and go to your toggles notice that the lock check mark has been done and once you click that it will unlock Okay, now I can move it and delete it if I want. And I'll do the same for this one. Right click, toggle, lock. Oop. Right click, toggle, lock. There we go. And it's a simple delete. So now I've gotten rid of them. Let's pretend that you have a piece of terrain or something in your army that you want to put down and you don't want to move, um, like a piece of your scenery. You can move it to wherever you want it, right click and go to lock. And now we can't really we can't really edit it or move it. Okay. The last big tip in here that I sort of want to talk to you about is right clicking and a uh, color tint. Okay. So let's pretend that you had these were maybe two different units. Okay, I had this unit and this unit that was left. And I have a bunch of these units on the board. Everything keeps getting mixed up because you're on a lot of the sprites are exactly the same in this game. I mean, there's only one. There's two Grimgrass. There's the um, the one leader and then everybody else looks exactly the same. So the one easy way to differentiate the units is to highlight the unit, right click and go to tent. Go to tint and then select whatever couple, uh, color you want. There's really nice sliders. You have a lot of options for changing these colors and hit apply. Okay, and it's now tinted them. Now, these went pretty dark, and I know you're saying that's really ugly. I don't want the models to look like that. Um, the one thing bad about tinting models is that you don't really know what's going to happen a lot of times because it's based off of the person who sort of created the sprites. Sometimes it'll just be the ring of the thing. Sometimes it might just be their weapon. Um, on the 2D models, only one side usually gets tinted. So it can be a mixed bag when you go to tint models. Just know that, just know that it's, um, it's, it's important to know how to do it because you will need to do it, but sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. Um, the final thing is on your copy and paste, these are pretty self-explanatory. Use the quick key on it. It's just much, much faster. But 
that's all we got for this episode. Um, thanks for watching.